I love the school because of all the nice teachers and all the fun activities. Because we're all a big family. I can be myself. We have great friends here. Because I like to learn a lot. Children going into the 21st century, they're going to need more than academics. They're definitely going to need math and science, but they're also going to need to understand how to collaborate, how to create community, how to be critical thinkers, and how to be problem solvers. I would say our approach is very holistic. We don't compartmentalize the academics like, oh, the academics are over here, but then the social emotional are over here. It's all of a piece. It's that ability of the teachers in a school like this to use their intuition. And everything that we do in our school is about their consciousness, their happiness, their awareness. A good student is someone who knows how to thrive in all circumstances. Academics are effortless if you give the children the tools within themselves to know how to use that education. Relax and inhale through your nose. Feel the coolness of the breath as it comes in. Our school is all about joy and learning, together, not apart. And the one informs the other. There's a principle of non-exclusivity. Instead of cliques, you have families. When you expect kindness, then you can be yourself. And when you have that, you have everything because you can learn. And how about the C5H12? I love working at Living Wisdom School because we have such an incredibly caring community that's been cultivated over the years. Social and emotional well-being is essential to a student having a positive learning experience. When we are in a state where we feel unsafe, the brain shuts down and it becomes almost impossible to have real lasting and deep learning. I think the most important skill that I learned at Living Wisdom School was actually uh, people skills. How to relate to people, how to know what motivates them, how to know what would make them happy. The ability to make people laugh and to have fun while doing things that you have to do anyway. The more children are having fun while they're learning, the deeper their learning goes. I think when the kids see mathematics outside of uh, their pencil and their paper, they actually get to play with it. It just forms new connections in their brains and it also makes math more magnetic for them because it feels like they're playing while they're working. My favorite subject is science. I love science. 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 Math. 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 Math and free time. Science. Yeah, science. We get to do acting, dancing, we all get to choose an instrument. We do art weekly, and then there's the school play too. Our school does plays on saints, um, George Washington Carver, Krishna, Joan of Arc, and I feel like that's very unique. For me, meditation woven into the classroom and practices of yoga are incredibly important because they nurture the children not only physically, but also helping them to learn how to work with their inner experiences, their uh, emotional states, their ability to concentrate. All of our teachers on faculty have a spiritual practice. It's not always the same spiritual practice, but most of our teachers have uh, meditation as part of their day. My meditation practice heightens my intuition and my ability to relate energetically with the students and help to guide their experience and interactions throughout the day. There's a lot of respect for the different cultures that we bring in. I bring a lot of my Jewish culture and my Jewish learning and my Jewish experience to the classroom. It's just a beautiful place. I've never taught at a school like this before. Every week the whole school gathers in our all-school circle and we have certified yoga teachers on staff. It's a whole community doing yoga together. If you are like really frustrated or sad, meditating can help you very much. And we made these mind jars. It's like a timer of meditating. And all the little sparkles represent your mind. And by the time they settle, your mind has settled. Students learn that it's possible to choose how you're going to respond to a situation, that 
We're not victims of our lives, but we are proactive participants. So these are extremely important life skills. I learned through my education here that I have the ability inside of me to decide whether or not I will be happy in this moment, and even more than that, what I can achieve. That's what we're helping the children do, become masters of their own energy. If you can master your restlessness, your fears, and your moods, then, well, frankly, academics are easy. I can honestly say that at this school, we cultivate deep thinkers, problem solvers, and kind, kind people. That's who we are, living with some school. Flow through me, flow to me.